Look at this thing. You don't think there's turtles happily living in here? Come on. This is the closest I think I've ever been. Like, right. Look out! Oh, look out! Look out! <laughs> right here. Look at that. Perfect. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, I got a bin. I got Matt back. It's awesome to have Matt back, everybody. Um, but we're going to be graduating some turtles today. And it's, uh, it's always a little bittersweet when we graduate some turtles. Thank you to all our loyal Patreon members out there. This week's shout out goes to Tiffany Street. We're basically going to be getting uh, some select turtles that have kind of grown up. And that's one of them, our Central American sliders. Uh, these guys are going to move out to the big pond now. And we're also going to get a couple other species like some of the Orlidia we're going to grab up. We're going to get them in the big pond. And this is just like, for example, here's an Orlidia. You can just see how much larger they've gotten. When I got them, they were tiny. These are massive turtles. These are big river turtles from Asia. And when these guys um, get really big, they poop a lot and... Uh, well, we just kind of want to move them out of this pond because these ponds are going to be for certain species to live um, basically their entire lives. And then other ones are going to be raised up in here as little guys. And then they graduate to the big pond. And it's cool. Look at this guy. Really cool turtle. Um, you rarely see the ones in the big pond, but we've got some 80 pound adults in that pond they live at the bottom most of the time they eat a lot of food off the bottom of the of the ponds uh they're kind of like nature's cleanup crew they'll just kind of wander around eat and the other cool thing about these turtles is they do very well when we get our winter time here in florida so we do get the odd 30 degree night but because the body of water is so large in that pond and there's such a big thick muddy layer uh like layer at the bottom of the pond these guys live in that and they insulate themselves very nicely. So for the few short days we get cold, these guys are pretty cold tolerant. Uh, they don't hibernate, but they can survive uh, a small little, not even a freeze, but a chill. I was just sniffing my turtles, but sometimes they release a musk. And uh, we all know in the past that my friend Matt holding the camera loves to smell a skunk. I was gonna, I was gonna give him a little whiff of turtles, turtle uh, musk, but Alas, such a nice guy. That was good, good dude. He likes to smell a skunk. I don't know, uh, but what are you gonna do? So we got this one. There's three more in here. So uh, let's get to work. Let's start grabbing turtles, and we'll talk about them as we get them. Um, the best way to kind of get these guys going is probably throw some food out. So let's go out over here to our little bin and get some fluker food. I really smashed the lid on this pretty good here. I know I've said this a few times recently, but this is the, these guys I've seen almost double in size. That's the thing, man. Yeah. You know, I, I'm really excited about aquatics um, recently, and we have these beautiful ponds. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that we don't overload the ponds. And since these guys have gotten large, now look at how big, look at how big these turtles have gotten. You guys can go back just a couple of years and see that these sliders here, these Central so American cool. sliders, um, they were just baby turtles when I got them and threw them in here. Uh, now they've grown so quickly. They are aggressive. These are the best. Aren't they cool they're though? So beautiful. But they're what's so nice is because they're so acclimated to me, it won't take any amount of time before these guys are swimming up to me in that big pond. So here is one of the females. I believe it's a female. It's kind of tough. They're still a little young. I believe. That is a female, so we're gonna put her away and uh, we'll grab the next one. There's the next one. Look at this next one is even larger. Look at this. Look at how big they are. These are, I mean, this is pretty much adult. And it's a, it looks like a male. It looks that way. Oh, wow. You yeah, really you can see, see the difference, the, just the size of the tail. I don't know though, actually. It is a little tough. I mean, when we started, this is one of the first episodes. These guys were They were not, tiny. They were. Yeah. 60 75 percent of the sun isn't that something and so i'm pretty i'm pretty pumped that they've they're going to graduate and go out into the big pond so that's neat so i know there's two more of them and three more of your olivia and you know to be honest i i don't know if we'll find them today but we have some grandis that have been living out here uh that are getting large so if we get lucky enough to find one of those that'll be good too 
And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm just kind of lightening the load in these ecosystem ponds. So we've got some food out. Let's see, is any up? Oh, I think we got another turtle under here. Hold on. Let me go. Oh, yeah. really is, there, is there another one under there? Let's see. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, look at that. Another Central American. That was not sticking out. How did you? Uh... I just reached in and grabbed it, man. I know where these guys are hiding. Awesome, though. That's so cool. So these they're guys, so bright. they're bright, man. But these are basically adults now, guys. These are young adult turtles. And uh, they're going to do very well in the pond. Let me reach back under here. There may be more. Another one of the species we are aiming for today. I hope that's not, well, that's not a turtle. Let me move over a little closer in here, guys. I like my... I like my ponds. Oh, there's the jet. No, nah, nobody. Oh, wait, I got a turtle. What's this? Who is this? Oh, someone's fighting me here, guys. It might be an Emmy Dura, though, if I can tell just from the. Yep. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Oh, I can tell know. just from the shape of the shell. This is a turtle we're going to keep in here because I can keep an eye on the Emmy Dura or the pink bellied side neck because these guys aren't cold tolerant. So when we know we're gonna have a real, real bad cold, I'll pull this turtle in. I'll actually come out here and search for everybody, pull these guys in and make sure that they have no issues with the cold. Now, luckily for me, South Florida doesn't really experience too much of that, but this is a pretty cool species. It's a side neck species. The Emidora subligosa, pink bellied side neck turtle. It's got a pink or a red belly. These guys are carnivores. Uh, they'll eat different invertebrates. They'll eat pellets. Um, they'll they'll just eat a wide variety of food items, uh, prey items out there, crayfish, things like that. Snails. Uh, they do very well in captivity. They reproduce very nicely in captivity. Babies hatch in about 65, 75 days. And uh, I find babies in here from time to time. We've got males and females living in here. And this is a male. You can see, look at how long that tail is, where the vent is. It's really extended out towards the tip. So that's where his reproductive organs uh, are inside that cloaca. Beautiful little species uh, from, uh, you can find these guys in Australia and in uh, New Guinea and so on. We'll put them right up here. So there's, whoa, sorry, yeah. he slipped on down. All right, so we got three of the uh, Venezuelan turtle. I, I keep saying Venezuelan, it's actually Central American. Uh, so we've seen them. I haven't seen another Orlidia pop up, not over here. So that must mean they're in the other pond. On the other side? Right over here. Right These over guys, here. they can wander back and forth. I actually really enjoy my front yard. It's, it's not your average front yard. There's a, a lot of action going on here. So it's kind of fun. This is the front door. Yeah, it's pretty fun. So this, of course, is my very first aquascape ecosystem. Now, I am considering also taking these Batiger and putting them in the recreation pond, but I'm not sure I'm gonna do that today. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen today, but that is something that has to happen because they're gonna get huge and that's the pond I have that will facilitate them and also allow me the ability to get in and get them out during a cold snap. So uh, let's have a look. We'll throw some food out, but I wanna first check and make sure there's no little turtles inside here. This happens a lot. It does. I've been finding lots of babies, but... It's a baby filter. It is a baby filter. And you gotta check it every day, morning and night, just to make sure Nothing because of the force of the water coming in, the pumps are so powerful. You want to make sure the turtles don't get stuck against the grate uh, and drown. So that's one of the reasons I like to check every day. Nobody's in there. Okay, let's throw some food out. These guys don't know what's going to happen. They're probably like, "What's going on?" They're but they're going to get out before. They're going to have a huge pond. They're going to have a lot of room to move, and they're going to get fed the same way we feed them now. So it's pretty cool. So let's get some food out here and see if we can get some more turtles to kind of show so themselves. What are we looking for? We're looking for more of the black Orlidia here. And we're also looking for that fourth turtle from, from uh, Central American slider. Hold on though. I'm seeing some 
cavitation. Those bubbles should all go out soon. We've got a little cavitation uh, coming out of the line. You see that? There's yeah. some, some puddles happening. Uh, bubbles, rather. That's actually coming from my jet that just stirs up all the sediment on the bottom, lifts it, and puts it into the skimmer. All right, I'm going to go proactive. I'm not seeing anybody at the moment, so we're going to start we're going to start putting our hands in places. This is a much bigger oh, what pond we got? to Look at this. Uh, search these guys. Yeah, up. it is, and this is a turtle that is wedged in, man. I think I know what species it is. It's one that's going to graduate, I can tell you that. If I can grab this guy. Holy smokes. We're, he's going to have to come out this way. Uh, holy smoke, this turtle is wedged, man. I don't even know how this turtle even got in there. After all this, it'll just be a rock. No, it's not a rock. It's fighting against me. And there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Let me grab it. What is it? Aha! It's one of our grandest. This guy's been in here since he was a little tiny thing. Now he's definitely large enough to go in the big pond. And a couple years back, do you guys remember I had a raccoon attack where we lost some turtles? It was a, such a bummer. Well, this guy survived, but you can see he was this. gnawed on by the raccoon, but he was big enough. To, oh, this is something yeah, they do. Yeah. <laughs> These guys poop. Brandis poop as a way of trying to scare. Oh, look, that's a Chinese box turtle making that's its way out. That's not one we're looking yeah. for, but I'm glad we got this this one. There is another Grandis in here, so this if we get like lucky. it's taken a lot oh, of abuse. Yeah. It has, uh, and that was from one one encounter with an actual raccoon. Wow. Look at this. See these pock marks? Yeah. Those are from the raccoon's wow. canines trying no to get in way. there. Yeah. So the shell did its job. And sometimes when you get wild caught turtles uh, that people have imported or you come across them in the wild, you see box turtles that have similar scarring on their shells because they had encounters with carnivores. And that's exactly why these animals evolved shells. Um, they are an amazing, an amazing uh, feat because the turtle had to get its shoulders inside its rib cage and its pelvic girdle inside its rib cage. And if you're a nerd with, with anatomy, you know that that is just incredibly difficult. And uh, it's something to be respected that these animals were able to get their pelvis and their shoulders inside their rib cage so that they could have a completely enclosed body plan which is just so fantastic and it stood the test of time. 300 million years, uh, that's incredible. So before dinosaurs walked Earth, there were turtles. Although they may have looked very similar, some of them had teeth. And essentially, we've talked about this with my buddy Sam Pascucci before. What a turtle of tortoise actually is, is the ancestors of them were lizard-like creatures and they would burrow. And they found over millions of years of burrowing good way to burrow is to have a flatter design, stronger ribs to kind of make that kind of burrowing shape. And that's kind of what led to the first or proto turtles. Uh, and then they kept evolving from there. And there are still tortoise species that burrow. Do you guys know the names of some? Let me know in the comments below. I've got a species uh, and we have a few species here in North America that burrow and many tortoises still use burrows as a form to escape from the harsh climates and from predators. But this is Hyosemi's grandest giant Asian wood turtle with a couple of little marks. Lucky guy, he survived. Let's keep moving. All right. We still have some turtles we gotta find. And uh, I'll tell you what, I don't mind digging. I think I see one. I think I see an Orlidia. I so do see an Orlidia down here. A little more difficult with all this water in the pond. Yes, it is. When but you drained it, it was easy. It was easy, but it's so much fun to grab. Oh, wait, guys. I think we might get lucky here. Oh, I think we might right. get lucky here. Wait a second. There's all kinds of stuff going on in here. You're going to love this, friends. Oh, we got the fourth. Oh, I, I got a tour. I got so much to show you. Look at this. You get all of I'm double fisting. Thank you so much for doing that. Okay, so we got our fourth slider. And we got our second or Lydia, but I want to talk about that little guy. Let's talk about this little guy. So this little dude was how big these guys were when I put them in a few years ago. You recently saw a video where I got some tortoises from my friend Maurice Rodriguez up in New Jersey. These guys came from Maurice. And this is actually a little Florida red belly. Okay. 
And uh, this little dude was given to me by the folks uh, who actually put in our windows, SIW, um, put our windows in. So we now have, um, I'm excited about our windows because I don't have to put up hurricane shutters anymore. We got hurricane impact windows, so it was a big deal. But what was cool about that is the folks that installed it, the gentleman who helped me uh, pick out my windows, his wife found this little turtle on their driveway and she fell in love with it and started raising it and then realized that our house was a little bit more exciting. Hold on one second. Someone's, can you see if someone's nibbling at my butt, please? Is Maybe. there something going on there? Might be, What's yeah. happening just here? Oh, hello. Of course, it's the radiated tortoise just coming to say hello. Tortoise is like my hiney, man. I don't know why. It's a skinny, bony butt, but uh, whatever. They always like to bite me. Anyway, so check this out. This little guy was much smaller. I said, hey, look, I'll take him. I'm going to throw him in here. And that's what's so cool about this particular setup. There's so many little places for turtles to hide. And that's what turtles do. They hide until they get big enough to get a little bit braver. And then they can kind of just come become on out. Become YouTube famous. Yeah, become YouTube famous. Exactly right. So this little dude I was able to grab. I'm really psyched because I'm able to show you just the difference in sizes look at that i mean and this is amazing right when i started shooting with you last october the ones that we just pulled out yep. were only about twice maybe not yeah. even twice the size of and that. that's what people don't realize some turtle species actually can grow fairly quickly in the proper conditions um and so what we know is these aquascape ecosystem ponds are amazing uh, because all we're doing is mimicking nature, right? It's one of Ed the Pond Professor's favorite terms, biomimicry. Uh, I love it being a turtle nerd. This is the way you want to keep your turtles. Uh, it's so fun to see these animals grow up. So we're going to put him out, but we've still got more turtles to explore for. I'll let him crawl around so you guys can see that. In the meantime, I'm going to come over here and he and I have the same idea. This is a cool area, and you gotta kind of think like a turtle, right? You gotta say, if I were a turtle, where's a place I'd want to hide to keep this giant human from ripping me out of my little home? Now remember, these guys are gonna go into another home, so they're gonna be happy. But I know there's a ledge over here. There's a deep tunnel, a cave over here. I always see them go in there. Yeah, but you know what? No luck. And I'm gonna have to squeeze in there. There's nothing there. No. But you know what? If we go back to the other side, I didn't actually explore enough of the other side. We still have a couple of Olivia. This guy's fun, man. These kind of videos are fun because I don't know what I'm gonna get my hands on. Let's go. I'm gonna go over here. Here we go. Alright. Let's get down. There's yeah. so much space under here. This is one of the yeah. coolest things. That well, that's by design. The ponds they design. Yeah. Oh, wait, we got something interesting. Oh, I haven't seen these guys in a while. Look how long they are when they're out stretched. Oh, isn't that cool? So this is another side neck species. This is the Kreff side neck turtle. These guys are from New Guinea. Uh, this is in a different genus than the Emidura. The Emidura. This is Elysia, okay? Uh, Kreffdi. Uh, Kreff side neck turtle, really cool, really uh, aquatic, highly aquatic, highly fast species that can really swim fastly, but very shy that I've noticed. I don't see these guys a lot. Um, they hide a lot, they come out when there's food, they come out nocturnally, and they forage for food. So, very cool. Watch how fast this one takes off. Gone, right? Wow. Yep. Pretty cool. Thank you show everyone what's going on up there okay not a lot not a lot happening it's okay though i'm embracing it what else do we got nothing holy smokes but that's not all i know all the play get my hat back on my head please sir <laughs> thank you gotta protect that bald spot from sunburn oh. Whew. we're going to the waterfall let's go to the waterfall now, most of the time, I would do this over the course of a few days. As I saw animals, I would collect them and then put them away. But you know what? I wanted to save it for a video. Now, we got to go into the jungle here, friends. So what I'm going to do is I've got to get up into this waterfall, Matt, because even these aquascape biofalls 
an awesome habitat that I found. Let me get these webs and spiders away from me. That turtles like living actually in here. Lots of clean, cool water flowing through it. Let's have a look. Maybe we've got turtles in here. Oh, we got something. I've got something. What is it? Oh, it's not what we're looking for, but it's awesome. It's one of our Hamiltoni. This is the Indian spotted turtle. Look at the pattern. That Isn't is it beautiful? So cool. Yeah, I love this turtle. We've got enough now. We've got males and females in here. Hopefully, I'll be finding some babies of that turtle. So let's see. She's blocking out the... No other turtles. Where the heck's the other Orlidia? Oh my gosh. Here, Mama. There you go. Oh, look at that. She's going for a ride. All right, well, before we give up on the other Orlidia, let's get... Oh, that's a saw. Oh, that's an agave, baby. That hurts. Let's go back to the other pond where I think I might get lucky and find some more of them. We still have to go to Cayman Creek because two oh, snapping turtles. Oh yeah, we put yeah, them in there. Two snapping so, yeah. turtles are graduated. We're gonna, of course, keep Marge in her section, but I wanted to make sure we moved some of the other snappers into the large pond. All right, what I want to do is kind of look right around here. In this area, it's possible. Yeah, that's the only other. Oh, I see in the corner there. Hey. Yeah. Oh, that's not that's no, not what we're not looking for. That's looking. a Malaysian. Uh, that's a Malaysian box turtle. That's the gold head. Look at you saying hi. You are so yeah. Cool. That's another one of those Hamiltoni. We got and there's another Hamiltoni right there up on the rock. Mm -hmm. How cool! But I can still check this waterfall. Oh wait, we got uh, there's a core ambienensis. That's another Malaysian box turtle. Oh we got two more up here. I can oh, yeah. see That's, one. Yeah, here's right there, there and then there's there. another one way back there. Yep, and there's one right here. But it's not the species we're looking for. Oh, but this is! <laughs> Look at this! Here's the other grandest guys. Look at how much bigger this female is. I love the pattern on that. Uh, isn't that cool? That's that where you get that. Sure. That's where they get that wood turtle name. Your angle it down to the tree. Oh, that's just, isn't that awesome? That is so so cool. beautiful. So that's cool. Is that what we were looking for? Well, that's one of the bonus ones we were looking it's for. So much bigger than what I expected. We were right. Looking. And the shells are nice and firm and hard. This is just some algae I pulled out the other day, or actually root balls. But I use it as a place where the turtles can kind of hide it's a nice moist spot moist and cold yeah moist and dark at least exactly but no one's there i'm gonna have to keep an eye open for these other uh his Olivia. design looks like a stencil on the bottom isn't it amazing right now so we can see it oh look at that that's just so, cool. so cool all right what do you say we go now since we got this guy well there's that poop we all yep. love from them i'm not seeing any more or uh or lydia in here so it is what it is friends that's okay we're not adding new turtles today can you grab one side of this let's go over to cayman creek we're going to go over to the smooth front cayman enclosure where we're going to get out two snapping turtles because we added those twist neck turtles and you know it's funny i'll explain it to you guys when we get there a little bit better but we added the twist neck turtles uh, just a few days ago and they were from Maurice's house and I wanted to keep them away from the smooth fronts just I was just a little nervous because smooth fronts are bigger than Lucifer and I wasn't sure if they would attempt to eat the twist necks well one day just yesterday actually I go walking over here and I put them in this side right here okay with March with March and I saw one on this side so the only thing I can think of is that the grating that separates the the tunnels, um, the the one section from the other for the stream, the grating must be large enough that they can get through it. Kind of a situation. I still can't but, believe yeah. that these caiman sit with the. Uh... Yeah, that's the the good thing is that the caiman don't seem to care about turtles. Um, we'll leave it here. And you'll shut that gate, thank you. Well, just like you said, they've got shells. They're not getting eaten. Well, right here, so cool. 
with the thing is with crocodilians and especially uh came in like these trigs these smooth fronts these guys actually can crush shells uh on certain size turtles if they're small enough they can crush them and of course crocodiles large crocs and large gators can absolutely eat adult turtles so shells don't necessarily mean everything when you're dealing with 3,000 pounds per square inch of bite force yeah. so anyway let's go over here have a look see who's there oh great are they in there yeah. you can't see them can you oh, hear I that? Can hear that can you hear that i can definitely hear that what do we got they're both we got a facing... snapping turtle in there at least they're are they both facing the other way can you guys see this oh there we go now you guys can see that's a tail on the left i'm nervous can we bait the caiman out the other end oh god look at this guys come here come on over here this is not going to be easy let me see what are we dealing with here? careful now yeah yeah oh wow look <laughs> at them right there right there and then look look what she seems to be protecting which is right what we want that's what we want <laughs> We want that snapping turtle. Oh man, these guys are right here. Yeah, how am I going to do this? Most, I got ideas though. This is the closest I think I've ever been. Like, right. Look out! Just kidding. <laughs> Don't <laughs> tuck your eye off of them. No, they're right there. So that's the one snapper we need. There is another snapper that we have to get out too, which may be inside the, uh, maybe inside that tunnel. That is so funny. They do look like they're, ooh, what's that underneath there? That is the musk turtle and there's also an Oscar fish there. That's the Mexican musk turtle, and then there's an Oscar. Oh my gosh, guys. What do you think? You guys want to see me get that snapping turtle that How she happens to be hugging right now? How are we going to do it? You don't worry. <laughs> Let me show you. Where there's a wheel, there is a way. So what we're going to do is take uh, this wood, this little poker, this stick here, and I'm going to try and gently pull her. Well, I'm going to maybe push her back and get that snapping turtle. Oh, push um, the caiman back. Yeah. Like we do to Snaggletooth. Correct, though. Let me see. But let's yeah. see if she gets annoyed. Damn, they are. Sorry, they're guys. Right they there. are right there. Oh, they're both right there. Like, right there. Can you move back, sweetie? Oh, there you go. Can you move back a little bit, please? Just a little. Go back. There. Oh, God. Yeah, she did. See, these are quick. These are quick little bites. She's snapping. She's snapping. She's angry. Now, I gotta get this guy. Oh my god. Oh god almighty, oh she's going forward. Oh, oh look out! <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes, she went the wrong direction. Holy smokes! Woo! Did that give you guys a startle? Gave me one. Hey, Matt, you're still pretty quick on your feet, buddy. Oh my gosh, well, we got her out. No one got hurt. She's annoyed. She's definitely annoyed. Oh, she's annoyed, yeah. We should. Um, but I still need her to move. Hey, honey, can you? Can oh, you she's about to smack. There you go. Thank wow. you, dear. That was uh, that was the quickest and most aggressive I think we've ever seen. Well, let's just for I would do. I, I want to say I wouldn't say that's aggressive. I would still say that's defensive because she felt cornered. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So she came right out and it worked. Yeah. She came out with her mouth open. We got the hell out of there, and no one got bit. She just bluffed us and it worked. So, uh, hey, that's what's, that's what's so interesting. You can, never, you can never count on what direction an animal's gonna go, okay? Uh, she did have a way out, but she felt the mail behind her. So- Like always, we gotta and, be ready to move. <laughs> always ready to move, but think about this also, guys. She's blind on that side. Yeah. And the mail was on that side. So for her, she probably didn't trust. If I go backwards, I might get bit by the mail. Um, that could be a problem. So she went forwards. Uh, we moved uh, fast and uh, everything worked out well. So she's out, but I still have an even larger, oh, look at her scratching. Look at that, just like a dog. Isn't that cute? So cool. And she was also giving us the jaw pops to let us know, I got mean jaws. I just because that... these are dwarf species does not mean they ain't tough. Man, she's thick. She's thick, dude. She's very thick. I don't think I'd seen her recently, because that is. Yeah, I like him thick, dude. I like him. <laughs> I like him like that. All right. Oh, she backed off. Yeah, he backed he off. Backed so off. let me uh, see if I can somehow now. My eye on her yeah, you just keep an eye on him. I'm not going to stick my hand in there and lose a hand for this, because we still can't go in forwards on a snapping turtle either. 
excuse me, Mr. Snapper. I apologize for this inconvenience, my friend. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. oh, yeah, I'm off. You, what's yeah, she's, all right, she's back there. Would you, can, oh, can you go backwards maybe? No, you're not gonna go backwards. He's a little bit less aggro than she is. There we go. There we go. There we go, that's it. We got him. Okay. Sure. All right, we got this guy. This is one of Fred's turtles. And I want to move these guys into, they were always going to be moved into the big pond. So that's what we're going to Will do. Will he attack any of them? Uh, no, he should, he might get annoyed by them, uh, but he should be fine. There's also one more. This guy has, is a snapper, so he could snap his neck wicked far back. Right? Wicked far, yeah. wicked far. You wicked can tell back. he's from the Northeast. Scientific uh, from term the right England there. Term. New far. England. He's wicked, wicked sure of it. I okay, a, that was such a treat to see. Yeah, her move like that. I, definitely a treat. Holy smokes! I'm gonna go check an area over here to see if the other snapper might be lurking in this area. If not, we'll have to get her the next time I see her. Probably not gonna be sticking your hand in a uh, cave to look for a well, snapper. Well, not for the snapping turtle. No, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. But anyway, I think we've got enough turtles, man. We'll go ahead and we'll catch up with those turtles. You have to keep an eye on my Instagram. I'll do a short story on there or maybe a YouTube short when I find the next ones. But let's go on over to the old pond. And these turtles are gonna have a new home. Lots of water, lots of food. In fact, I'm gonna grab some food right now. I wanna make sure these guys have some food. I'll put them in while there's food there and see if they'll start nibbling on it. Let me just go get a bucket. Some of the Fluker aquatic turtle diet. We still have a somewhat clean warehouse, which is nice. It's much nicer. Right? One less room over here. Look at all that food. Not missing anything. I always say it, but thanks to my friends at Fluker, we're keeping uh, these turtles well fed. Pretty good, huh? I'm just gonna load up a whole bucket. The pond turtles get a bucket like this twice a week. The entire pond. The entire pond. The entire pond. And occasionally, you see the leviathans. We'll sit out there and watch for the snappers, the Godzilla. Godzilla. Yep. Does the uh, smaller one have a name? I forgot her name. Tom Crutchfield gave those two gator snappers to me. Maybe we'll see them, but don't count on it. They are truly animals that like to hide. But we will see some other turtles. We're gonna chuck this whole bucket in. I mean, cool. the last time you went in there looking around for them, you came out with a buttfish I that did made it all the way fish. to right over there. For 15 minutes, that buttfish lived in my swamp ass yep. <laughs> and uh, survived. That was so funny. That was funny. We sometimes have a lot of humor on this channel. What can I say? Go straight on. Look at that green iguana. Look at that green iguana. Look at him, so big, you can't get through Check the him out. We got an iguana living here. Holy smokes. All oh, look the reptiles at him are Look at that guy. He's going to jump He's in the water. He's a big guy. All the lizards want to hang out at Camp Cannon. Oh, yeah, look at him. He's so dude. big. Ah! That How was cool. massive. That is awesome. We got a green iguana living here. He was a big boy. Now I can't touch him. I can't remove him. I can't feed him. I can't do nothing. And that's because? Because they are now a prohibited species here in Florida. Oh well. He can live here though. And who's on me now? Look, I got lizards on me. I got all kinds of stuff going on. Okay. Hi, turtle. You want the food, turtle? That's how we he... do it. Got lucky. Oh yeah, we got lucky. All so, right, friends. How many you think are in here total? You said over eighty. Let's right? get this snapping turtle out oh. first. Oh my god! Look at the look at the, oh my god. The reduced plastron. That is. So yeah, cool. that's why they snappies. These guys are so cool. They are awesome. Let's go ahead and put you down there. Go on, go on. Look at that big pond you got now. And go we'll ahead. never see you again. Probably not. But go ahead and pan that pond, dude. Look at this thing. You don't think there's turtles happily living in here? Come on. This is an awesome pond. 
This is beautiful. And then when the water goes down, you can see the island a little better. It's, yep. it's actually quite, quite large. You can almost walk to it when the water goes down about, what, six feet, you think? Yeah, I prefer it like this, to yeah. be honest. But you can also see underneath here, um, around the edges, there's like little caves up underneath. All right, check this out. Let's get these guys over here, these grandest. Now, these guys are going to wander in the water, they'll wander on land. They're really going to be excited because I've got plenty of both on this, uh, in this habitat. We've got a nice fence all the way around it nice and secure to keep these guys in and uh i like this because this pond is like why i bought the house many years ago in 2004 when i when i first started looking in this area um i wound up seeing this this house uh and immediately knew i had to have it it was so cool because it had this big pond and it was a little bit different back then we had a bridge that went to the island but we had two hurricanes come right over the year i moved in Hurricane Francis and Hurricane Jean, and they kind of wiped out a lot of things, but I still think this pond is awesome. So who knows, one day, maybe Greg Woodstock, he did say this, he said he was gonna come down and he says he can clear this pond up if we build a giant wetland for this pond. I don't know guys, why don't you go on over to, uh, go visit Ed the Pond Professor and go visit Greg Woodstock the Pond Guy. If you aren't subscribed to them, subscribe to them and then I want you to just go crazy on their comments and say, hey, we want to see you clear up Kenan's Pond so we can do big swimming with, <laughs> and with all the turtles in here and we can find Godzilla, the 100 pound snapping turtle. That would be awesome. Go ahead, let's see if it works. I'm only kidding. They've done enough for me, but if you want to build another wetland, Greg, I ain't gonna stop you. However, my electric bill may be a little obscene. All right, shall we get some more turtles in the pond or what? Let's do it. These guys are slow pokes. They're not even going in yet. Yeah, they even Let's moved. get our sliders in. These guys will run. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna slide right on in to the water. And Look they're gone. All right, guys. Let's see if they turn lead, around. Lead by example. Come on. Here come these two. And the turtles we'll never see again are gonna be those Orlidia. There you go, guys. What a fun day. There uh, we go. Still chilling. Meanwhile, look at the Grandis. Yeah. Let's see if you see any turtle heads. <coughs> Central American slider turtle heads poking up here. Let's see. Surprisingly, I haven't seen a lot. Usually, sometimes <laughs> they know when we're here too. They think you're trying to see. Right, when there's two people. Yeah. Right. But there's some heads poking up right now. So this is yep. good. It makes me happy, guys. I mean, it really does. That I have this pond, that I have the ability to give these animals such a good life. Um, where they're free from most predators because we do have problems every once in a while. Oh, there you go. There you go. Welcome home. Awesome. Boom. I mean, there's plenty of places for these turtles to hide. Uh, there's plenty of little snails and things for them to eat when I'm not feeding them their foods. And because right now, also, the reason that you're not seeing a lot is because the water levels are up now. The mm -hmm. turtles aren't as concentrated as they normally are. So there's plenty more water. These guys are all just kind of hanging out. There's some really nice cypress trees back there where the roots are all knurled and they come into the water. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. Well, we have two left. We have our Grandis and we've got one Orlidia. So I guess we'll end on that, friends. We got these turtles moved out. There's Bua. Bua's over here just eating. She's always the first to eat and the last to leave. We got to love Bua. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me. As you can see, I'm dripping here, but that's just part of the part of the climate here in South Florida. I wouldn't give, I wouldn't change anything, man. I love it. And I hope you guys enjoy these videos and I hope you're taking care of your animals wherever you may be uh, because it sure is fun to watch animals grow and thrive and do well under your care. All right, everyone, that's it. I'm going to relax and enjoy the sounds and scenes of Camp Kim. Don't forget to bug Greg and Ed and follow their Instagram and their YouTube. Look who came back. See, just what I thought. He's like, no way, Dad. You're really letting me live out here? Oh, I'll eat? Okay, cool. That's the best thing you can have happen. Is when you put a turtle into a new area and they already start eating, they're going to do fine.
Cool.